Oh man, hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to be doing an overview of one of the pre-runners. This is the oldest pre-runner that I have. It's the first one that I built. This was actually built before the Proline I-Beam kit came out. Um, so yeah, I built my own I-Beam setup in the front. It's uh, pretty primitive, but it works, and that's all that really matters. So let's jump into this build. And as you can see, it is an RC four-wheel drive blazer body on it, um, which normally you wouldn't necessarily use a hard body for a pre-runner, but I thought that this would have been super cool. So um, I had an interior made up um currently what's in there is just kind of thrown in from another vehicle it doesn't quite fit doesn't quite work um but let's get the body off so as you can see with the body off we got servo mounted up front just a basic cheap tactic uh, i'm actually using a trx4 servo mount um, because I am using a RC four-wheel drive transmission um, without a transfer case basically so it goes direct to the SCX-10 axle. It is using a diamond, an SSD diamond axle housing for the SCX-10. Um, with open diffs, that seems to make it run pretty good. Uh, it has a 10.5 motor in it with a Castle Mamba Max Pro. Uh, I just have a ton of those ESCs. Um, underneath the driver, let's see if we can just pop them out real quick. Underneath the driver is where the battery sits. Um, just a basic, real simple battery tray that I just cut the side off of very primitively because that's the way I like to do it. Um, but it's perfect. You could run the battery right in there, Velcro strap it down. It works. That's all that matters. Um, in the back, you got your mounts for two spare tires. Uh, I don't have any proper tire hold downs yet, so I'm just using bungees. You know, super scale. <laughs> um, this little fuel cell here, I actually got used, painted up like that, so I can't take the credit for decorating it all up. Um, but basically, it's just a Capra receiver box. That's all it is. That they painted red, hit the uh, little rivets, the bolts. Um, or whatever with a chrome paint marker hit the top with some gold um, and then added this cool little fuel tube line for a quick refill which uh, came loose but whatever um, and then King 120 mil shocks on the back because that's what fits these looks what that's what fits the is running SMT or Yeti trailing arms, all of, all those are about the same. Um, so now it's time to get into the real ugly part of this thing. So what we have going on here is I made the actual arms themselves there there and then using the tabs from scale metal supplies I welded on the top and the bottom so that way I could use a Traxxas steering knuckle bearing carrier bearing carrier um, whatever so it's front end is mm, Traxxas parts <laughs> ish um, it works okay uh, then for my pivot arms, I'm actually using, if you can see, the rocker arms. I might have broke something. 
Um, rocker arms from a 116th E Revo slash. Uh, that seems to work good enough. Um, again, this was all built before the I beam kit. Uh, unfortunately, you can kind of see over here. I need to run a little bit of a spacer down on the screw on the bottom. I essentially, I'm running very similar screw. Let's see. Here. Screw. And link and shock mounts are all on the bottom. Um, I need to put a spacer on the one side because it's actually hitting mounting bracket. Um, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I learned a lot building this, um, being that it was the first one. I kind of modeled it after another builder that uh, I saw do it, uh, Scott Lempert. I don't know if you've seen his builds. He does some really cool stuff, and he built the uh, I-Beam. And that's kind of what I, I looked at some pictures and when I think I can do that eh, very primitively because that seems to be the way. And then, you know, you got your hodgepodge of, of links. Um, there's some axial links. There's a T-Rex or a Traxxas Fortec turnbuckle. Plenty of Traxxas parts on this thing. Uh, and then some stock SCX-10 shocks up front. Doesn't have quite as much travel as I would like. Um, there's def again, there's, especially with it binding over here, um, I actually ran just fine before, so I might have did that when I put it back together, getting it ready for the dunes. Um, but yeah, that's my biggest gripe with it, is it doesn't feel like it has much travel, but I'll be building more, so... All right, and that is the overview of Chevy Pre-Runner. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like if you like this video, and subscribe if you want to see more videos of stuff, you know? Catch you on the next one. There we go. Tiny truck on, my people.